Hello, and welcome to another week at the bungalow. So we're getting ready for a few things this week. Uh, we've got the renderers coming shortly, as we've mentioned before. Uh, we've got also got a bit of internal work happening. We've got screed going down in the extension rooms. So first part is because the render's being done and we've got to close up our access to the roof. We need to get the flue in. So it's the first job. Struggled a bit with the uh, worm drive clips, whatever you want to call them. So got delivered, nice bit of stainless steel flue for the log burner that's going in the lounge. So just trying to get that straight so we can feed it down the chimney as easy as possible. Most of the chimney is straight, there's a bit of a kick at the bottom where it goes down into the actual room. So while Claire's upstairs, I head on downstairs. You can see all the twigs and stuff where we uh, had to clear out the stuff out the chimney. And there you can see where it got caught as it kicks down. And we've got the cowling to go on top. And that's what those worm drive clips were for. Hold them in place so the tube slides into the into the flue and then the straps are just clamped down. Hold it in place. And then you drop the whole lot over the pot. And then we clamp that down. Jobs are good. We're also moving inside. We've got the meter being moved to a box outside, so we needed to locate the box on the external wall. It is literally moving just to the other side of the wall. So not massive amounts of footage of this. But brickwork needed breaking away, and then the box needed to go into the external skin. We have one slight problem in the fact that we'd filled up the wall with uh, the polystyrene beads as insulation. So there was, a, there was a few tricky moments as we were removing bricks and trying to wadge in some uh, fiberglass insulation to hold the beads in place. But all worked out all right. And as you can see, box is in. Adhesive just uh, gluing up. But it should be that the uh, Electrician should be able to drill through and pass the cable through. So right in the back is again now another external job. This one we just get started. So the uh, boxing that goes round the back of the house. We're continuing down and we needed to put a bit of foundation in place and extend the rain wall to pipe so that the brick layer could come along and get the brick work finished up to DPC and then we could fill in with the boxing and the concrete board. So unfortunately more digging. No one's favourite I don't think. And with all the rain we've been having this summer, uh, the, the clay was uh, at least soft but very heavy. I think if we're, we'd had a, a dry summer we wouldn't, uh, we wouldn't be digging anything. We'd be like concrete. So 
So we're digging down to the foundation and then uh, going a bit deeper just to the side of the foundation so we can get some concrete in there and then the brickwork can go on that. Doesn't need to be massively deep, it's literally six courses of brickwork we'll be putting on here. The boxing will be held by the wall of the house. And there you have it. All filled in and waiting to dry up. So next day, a bit more digging, trying to expose the rainwater pipe so that we can join onto it in the bottom and get that in place ready for the brick layer to stick the six courses of brickwork around it. So a little bit of pipe work, silicon spray, try and make it slide in a bit easier. Was a bit of a mistake here because I didn't bevel the ends of the pipe work, would have made my life a lot easier. I did in the end after this first one when I realised what I was doing. And that's it. Short one this week, but as always. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again on the next one.